Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica. I'm the Furry Family Coach. Thank you so much for being here. And we are in the final video of the beginner dog training series. In this video, we are talking all about the food to feed your dog. So what is the best food you can feed your dog? How do you choose the right food to feed your new puppy? That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. So let's get right into it. <laughs> all right, guys, here's the truth. I could talk ad nauseum about pet nutrition. Like, literally, I would talk about it all day long. But I know that you do not wanna watch a six, eight hour video about dog food. Not right now. You're, you're, you have a lot that you're thinking about right now, especially in this beginner dog training series, right? So I'm going to just kind of summarize in this video. And then what I'll do is in the description below, I will link to other videos that I have up on my channel that I've done in the past that are going to expand upon what I'm saying in this video. So if you're interested in learning more about the who, what, when, where, why, and how of dog food, you can check those videos out and just continue learning. One other thing I do wanna tell you really quick before I get into my thoughts about the best dog food and how to choose the right food for your dog or puppy, I'm going to add some of these books, maybe even others, to the Amazon storefront. So in the last video, I was talking about the um, new puppy or new dog checklist and what you need to have when you bring a new dog or puppy into your home. And I made a, a whole category on my Amazon storefront just for the new dog or new puppy um, checklist. So I will have that linked below as well. I'm gonna start adding some books to it because some of these books, many of these books changed the way I thought <laughs> on so many different levels. So I've got Odette Suter, Dr. Odette Suter's What Your Vet Never Told You, this one. I literally read the entire thing in like an hour and a half on an airplane. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I want more. <laughs> so I definitely recommend this one. Um, I will be adding that to the list. Dr. Becker's Real Food for Healthy Dogs and Cats. Um, this one is it's more dog centric. So if you're like, I don't have a cat, don't worry about it. It is much more dog centric. Um, I will link this one as well. Unlocking the Canine Ancestral Diet. I love this one um, by Steve Brown, who, by the way, I saw Dr. Karen Becker and um, Steve Brown in person talking about how to read pet food labels and I mean, like, I thought I knew something, and then I went in there and listened to them, and oh my goodness. Um, and then, just in case you do have cats as well, I'll include this one. This one is all about feline, uh, feline nutrition. So I, I, I love all of these books, and I will probably include some others, like Dr. Judy Morgan's book. Uh, but here's what I want to get across to you. Above and beyond, I mean, just if you forget everything else, here's what I want you to know. What you put into your body, your dog's body, your cat's body, whatever it may be, what you put in determines everything. It changes health. It changes the ability to use the brain and how the brain works. It, cha it can change behavior. It can change attitude. So really, literally, what you put in is what you get out. So we want to feed the best possible food <laughs> to our pets as well as to ourselves. So even though we're all different species, we're humans, dogs are canines, cats are felines, we're all different species, we're all mammals. And what we put into our body, while, it, while the balance is gonna be a little bit different, I mean, let's think about this. When was the last time a doctor told you or a nutritionist told you or even a TV doctor told you that you could literally eat cereal all day every day for the rest of your life and you'd be perfectly healthy? That's the equivalent of what we're feeding our pets. While a cereal may be technically balanced nutritionally, the way that food is being processed in our bodies is not ideal. And in fact, it can cause a lot of problems. Um, and the reason why it has been so easy for us to feed kibble, by the way, kibble is 
the trend. So we fed cats and dogs historically, we fed them fresh foods, we fed them table scraps, we fed them, you know, just whatever we were eating and whatever we were, eating, you know, if we were having meat and veggies for dinner, that's what our dog had for dinner up until World War II. At which point, metal became scarce. So any pet foods that were on the market, they, some, they had to figure out how to package a food not using a metal container. They had to resort to plastics and papers. And the only way they could do that was by drying the product. So kibble was invented. Kibble is the trend. So don't let all the marketing on TV fool you guys, okay? Because what marketing today on TV, on radio, on billboards, in pet food, in pet stores, the marketing is outstanding. It is amazing because it's an inferior product. Now, you're, you're, now you're wondering, well, if I'm not feeding kibble, what am I supposed to be feeding, right? A balanced fresh food diet is the absolute best thing that you can feed your pet. Now, there are many different ways of going about this. And the reason that we, as we have accepted so easily feeding kibble to our pets is because it's easy, it's convenient, it's, it can be cheap, um, it can also be expensive, but it can be cheap. And, you know, we've, we've become accustomed to this like ease of use in everything we do, but it's not the best thing for us. It's not the best thing for our pets. So feeding a balanced fresh food diet to your pet, to your dog, to your cat, to yourself, by the way, is the absolute best thing we can do for us, for our pets. So how do we get there? Now, you can take courses online, you can buy um, balanced recipes online. In fact, I will link in the description below to Planet Paws. Um, Dr. Karen Becker has created a, a, a whole bunch of balanced uh, food, fresh food recipes that you can feed your dog. They are incredibly inexpensive. They're like three bucks a piece, I think. I've bought quite a few myself just so I have balanced recipes on hand. You can also buy commercially available. Now, I will say when you buy commercially available fresh food diets, you still have to do a lot of research. So um, if you haven't already, there is a link in the description below to join the group. And the reason why I'm bringing this up now is because in the group, I have a whole bunch of different files. One of those files includes what in my opinion, are the best commercially available pet food brands on the market today. At the very top of that is Answers Pet Food. And if you've never heard of them, I get it. I understand they're a small company out of uh, New Jersey, I believe. All of the animals are <laughs> organically raised, organically grown, they're pasture raised, they eat species appropriate foods, everything is fermented and when you get that raw food home to your dog it's it's frozen and this is what i feed kim i feed her answers pet food now every once in a while i will grab dr judy morgan's book and just like i posted a video a couple weeks ago on um, it was an earth diet recipe that came out of dr judy morgan's book kim loved it and it was something that i cooked for her because it could have been fed raw but she eats raw all the time so i wanted to give her a little bit of variation in her diet and she absolutely loved it. Now I may in a few weeks grab one of those Planet Paul's recipes that I bought and downloaded and I may make that for her just to give her some variation on what she's eating. But the whole point here is that no matter what species we are referring to, whether it's us, whether it's our dog, whether it's our cat, whether it's a dolphin in the ocean, whether it's a monkey in the jungle, we all need species appropriate nutrition. We all need biologically available foods and using synthetic nutrients and vitamins and minerals is not the best way to go about getting our nutrition. We need whole foods. We need to be eating real foods to, to be able that that is the best bioavailability for our diet, for our body to um, consume and absorb. So I know I'm getting a little long winded here. So <laughs> um, I do just want to let you know that 
whatever you can do, and here, here's the takeaway, right? Do the best you can with what you have available to you right now. Now you have a little bit more knowledge, right? So maybe you check out the links in the description below and you start watching some more videos. Maybe you go to the uh, link in the description below to my Amazon storefront and you check out, and maybe you check out that new dog checklist and you check out these books. And maybe you grab Dr. Becker's Real Food, uh, this book on Amazon and you get it home and read it. And you know, it's, it's something you can read and just sit down, you know, 15 minutes at a time. You'll have it done in a few hours. Maybe you decide that you want to go ahead and switch your dog or start your dog on a raw food diet. Well, also check the link in the description below to Darwin's Pet Food. It is a great way to transition your dog away from kibble and onto a raw food diet. It gets delivered to your door. It's frozen. You can thaw out what you need and your dog is gonna love it. Maybe you decide to find Answers Pet Food at a local, if you can. If you can't find it in a local store, maybe you decide to check out a raw feeding co-op in your area. Yeah, they have those too. So you can join a raw feeding co-op and start getting some ingredients or maybe buy a commercially available, maybe you buy Answers Pet Food. There are so many right ways to feed your dog. There are a lot more wrong ways to feed your dog, but there are a lot of right ways to feed your dog. So don't beat yourself up too much. Do better. When you know more, you can do better and just do the best you can with what you have available to you right now. One more thing before we go. If you're feeding your dog a kibble diet and you are mentally in a place where you are saying, I can't afford to feed anything more than a kibble diet. First of all, I want you to know that oftentimes you can feed your dog a balanced fresh food diet for the same price or even less than what you're paying for that kibble. However, that's not 100% the case. That's not always true. Sometimes kibble is cheaper. And if that's all you can afford to feed your pet, I completely understand. What can you do? You can start adding in some fresh food. Even adding in a little bit of fresh food along with kibble can drastically improve your dog's health. Maybe you are cutting up chicken to cook for dinner that night and you have a little bit more than you need. You take some of that raw chicken before you cook it and cut it up, dice it up, and add it to your dog's kibble that night. Or maybe you're cooking broccoli and you have a little bit more than you and your family need. Go ahead and add a few broccoli florets to your dog's kibble that night. Maybe you have some blueberries. You're just having a snack of some blueberries and cream. You take a couple of those blueberries and you add them to your dog's food or you give them to your dog as a treat. That's going to be a really good way to start improving your pet's health. So um, uh, and sardines, oh my gosh, I can't end this video without including sardines. Sardines canned in water, no salt added, uh, amazing. Uh, even if you only do that once a week with your dog, can be a huge game changer in their skin and coat. So I'm gonna leave you with those few tips. If you have any questions at all, first of all, do check the description for links to other videos on my channel where I'm talking more in depth about how to choose the right food for your dog, about transitioning to a raw food diet, because I did a whole video series on transitioning. And every day that I recorded a video, I told you something new. I shared with you something new I learned um, in that transition to a raw food diet when we switched our dogs to a raw food diet. So I'll link all of that in the description below. But if you have any questions at all, please comment below and don't forget to join the group. That link is in the description. Check out the new dog checklist on my Amazon storefront. These books are included on that. If you haven't already watched the entire beginner dog training series, why haven't you? <laughs> Check the description below and I will link to that playlist as well. Go ahead and work through the entire playlist with your dog. You will not be sorry you did. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, if you have any comments or questions, do post them uh, below in the comment section below this video. Again, thank you so much for being here. There is going to be another video popping up right about here that's going to really help you build that bond with your dog. So I definitely recommend you check that one out next. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.